City College of New York's CUNY Dominican Studies Institute and U.S. Representative Adriano Espaillat held a ceremony filled with decorated soldiers, veterans, community leaders, and the public to honor and present a posthumous award to Tuskegee Airmen Esteban Hotes. This uh, Tuskegee Airmen Hostese uh, was one that was found, uh, discovered by the Dominican Studies Institute. We're going to offer the medal, the Congressional Medal that was issued to other Tuskegee Airmen, uh, to his family. And we're also going to recognize his contribution to the United States of America. Through their research in 2015, CCNY's Dominican Studies Institute discovered Holtes to be the only Dominican-born member of the famed African-American military group. His legacy, along with others, were displayed at the college's exhibit titled Fighting for Democracy, Dominican Veterans from World War II. You take these two exhibits, the first Blacks in the Americas exhibit and the exhibit that documents the participation of Dominican heroes in the, in the United States World War II effort. And they say the same thing. They say that you don't get America without the contributions of people who came from the Dominican Republic. The history in the U.S. did not start in 1965 or 66 when uh, many Dominican came. But it, it goes way back. Hotes, along with 100 other soldiers, courageously protested against racial segregation in the military, prompting President Harry S. Truman in 1948 to legally desegregate the armed forces. I think it's a, it's a reference, uh, ethical reference to look at, to just be able to, you know, whenever you confront something that just wrong, like racial segregation, to just stand up to it. To know that we were a part of fighting for the freedoms of this nation, that we were there alongside other communities, says that our roots go deep just like everyone else. It is a beautiful thing. I have said it before, you know, history is made every single day, but it's not every day that history is recognized. American, Dominican, and black camaraderie were at display with the singing of all three national anthems. Hotessa's family, his eldest daughter Mary Lou, and his three grandchildren were present at the ceremony to receive the honors on the soldier's behalf. Although we've seen him standing tall in uniform in several pictures growing up around the house, we never got a chance to meet him. Nonetheless, between the family's stories and the research conducted by the Dominican Studies Institute, uh, we, we know that he's a, a strong man, endured some trials and tribulations in his time, and accomplished some great feats. I only wish I would have had the chance to hear all of these stories that are being told from his own voice. Despite not having that relationship with our grandfather, he's obviously had an impact with us um, and we're, we're all dedicated to the service of our country. Esteban Hotesi passed away at 26 years old during a military exercise, but now through this honor, his life and his legacy will live on forever. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.